No matter what you do, clearly communicating your ideas is a skill that makes or breaks the success of your research. So how do you present your ideas in a clear and compelling way so that others understand the value of your research? That is what we call a research pitch. The research pitch is a quick and simple way to share your work and show others why they should care and is an essential part of the research process. So how do you develop your research pitch? First, you must be familiar with your audience and their values. Start by identifying your project's stakeholders. A stakeholder is any person or entity who is affected by your project directly or indirectly. These could include the agency which sponsored your research, the faculty who is the PI of your lab, the collaborators within or even outside your school, and even the public consumer who may be impacted directly. The audience could be individuals with different backgrounds, fields of study, and interests, which is why it's important to know your audience so you can identify how your work will affect them. Then you need to identify your stakeholders' values. Ask yourself these questions and put yourself in their shoes. What human or societal need is most important to your audience? Do they value a low-cost solution, maybe environmental impact, or maybe they value the impact on the end consumer? Finally, ask yourself why your particular research matters to them. So now that you've identified your audience and their values, you need to think about how to formulate your ideas in a way that resonates with your audience. Let's say you're doing research on Alzheimer's disease and want to know what impact certain activities have on a patient's brain. No matter what you're researching, ultimately, you are performing research to answer a question that addresses some kind of human or societal need. Your research question could look like this. With individuals who suffer from Alzheimer's disease, how can we enhance health, lengthen life, and reduce illness and disability? You need to share with your stakeholders the importance of your research to either prevent the disease in the first place or enhance the daily life of those who have been diagnosed already. After you communicate your research question, you need to communicate your approach. Talk about the methods you used and the unique approach that your research took. Definitely include the experiment design and technology that you used. With your Alzheimer's research questions, you can share the approach you want to use in order to analyze the brain. MRI, or magnetic resonance imaging, can be used to answer these questions, both from a structural and functional point of view. Lastly, you must demonstrate to your audience the value you created. What are the specific benefits that result from your approach? You could share that MRI is the best method to achieve your research because it is a quick, non-invasive method. Another way to demonstrate the value is to talk about your competition or alternatives. For example, instead of MRI, maybe someone can use ultrasound or classic X-ray radiology. It might also be important to share that although MRI is superior to the other methods, it has some limitations. Pitching your research is a lot of fun, and as we've learned, it is a very important part of the research journey. It is a key step in furthering the impact that your work has on your stakeholders and even on the world. So if you believe in the work you are doing and the value that you are bringing to the world, a clear research pitch will allow the impact of your work to shine through. Your work will speak for itself.